the more I learn about my family history, the more things kind of make sense. Learn about the people that came before you and the, the people that they were and how it all adds up to you, you know, all this yeah. down through history. And then and then here you are. Grandma keeps the, the history of the family. And so every time someone dies or a baby is born, grandma writes it down in her journal. She's been keeping a daily journal since like the, the 60s. 1960. Since 1960, grandma has written in a journal every day. Recently, this week. Another descendant was born, and I was telling Will that that was the 399th living direct descendant of Hugh Earl Tweedy and V Star Tweedy. Which, which would be my great grandma yeah. and grandpa. Right. I feel pretty fortunate to know the family history. I mean, I feel like not everyone, not everyone knows who their great great grandpa was or their great great grandma. And thankfully, grandma's got it all written down, and and so I feel pretty fortunate that that we have that. This house was built in 1910. That's what I figured. That's what they kind of kind of reckon. Yeah. And this building that I live in was built. We decided it was built in 1952. Uh -huh. by Grandpa. And then in 2005, I started making it into a livable space. Yeah, it and was no longer used. And and when you were a little kid, you and your little cousins would play in that corn crib. Yep, yep. That that corn crib was a was a pirate ship and a and a spaceship and a, you know, and a and a tree house. This house has got a lot of history. And so it's it's so nice to be able to still be here. You know, oh. it's kind of rare to, it's kind of rare that people actually get to to grow old in the house that they've spent so much That's time right. in. And you know, like my my mother was raised here, and my aunts and uncles, and and oh. I can still come in and and see the same place that they were raised in. And oh. I, I feel pretty fortunate. We're we're pretty lucky, actually. Well, I'm the lucky one to be able to be still. <laughs> living here at age 93. I was thinking the other day about you and your two sisters uh, being in the high school band. The band would play at ice cream socials and, and they'd ask us to play and that's how we earned some money to buy uniforms. I think that's where I get a little bit of music ability from is from you and grandpa played the banjo and then his dad played the banjo. My great grandpa. Once they start tracing it back, you know, and yeah. and so uh, it's it's kind of interesting. It's kind of just in our blood a little bit. Uh, I think I can't remember actually when the first years ago before when you and Clay were playing. I remember you and Clay. Yep, my my cousin Clay and I would would play together a lot. Yeah, that's when we were just first getting started. That must have been the first time I ever saw you before an audience. Yep, yep. I I would have been about sixteen or seventeen, I guess. Yeah, maybe, you were maybe maybe eighteen. But yeah, that show at the Grand Theater was pretty fun too. I was glad you were able to come to oh. that. And so you, you you kind of have seen the bookends of the. You know, when I was 18 and then yeah. and then up to now. And How you have improved. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> and I sure enjoy going out and playing. And it's so nice to come back to the farm, though, and, and have you and the family and everyone here. And, and I just feel uh, real lucky. Well, we're real proud to have you be here. To be able to you know, kind of put my energy in into this place and, and you know, plant plant garden where you and Grandpa used to plant garden and just kind of put my hands in the same dirt and and li live in the corn crib that Grandpa built. And we yeah, were just kind of talking about how, how lucky we are. Yeah, we, we keep an eye on each other, don't yeah. we? <laughs> yeah, and Grandma keeps an eye on us too and, and makes yeah. sure we're, we're doing everything right. And... And we, we just keep an eye on each other. It's a pretty, yeah. pretty good little deal we got going on.